everyone, my name is Victoria Zuniga. I am a surgical technologist lab assistant here at Altamont Healthcare located in Stockton, California. Today we will be performing a gowning and gloving video showing you the steps and how to properly gown and glove in the OR. Today I have my assistant with me. Hi, my name is Rebecca Russo. I'm a student here at Altamont Healthcare. She will kindly be providing assistance tying me from the back because I am a sterile team member and she today will be a non-sterile team member. So anything from the back of us is not sterile. In the front, from the mid chest to the waist, we are sterile once we have our gown and gloves on. Okay, when setting up your sterile field for a surgery, a surgery center, in a hospital, wherever it may be, our goal is to contain a sterile field. So what we would do is we're going to open everything and after we open everything, we will perform a surgical hand scrub. Now, one of our supplies that we open is our gown and our gloves, which is what we are performing today. So the first step to open a gown is it, co it comes like this, okay? So it will either come in your pack or it will come alone. This is a gown. The outside of this gown is not sterile. Okay, but everything on the inside is sterile. So you'll have it on your mayo stand. Typically that is what is preferred or where it is preferred to gown and glove is your mayo stand. If you look at the, the gown, if you look at the gown, you'll see a flap. This flap should always be facing towards you. So I'm going to set it down and I see the flap. So I know that this is the correct position. What I'm going to do is that first flap, I'm going to take it away from me. Okay, so we're going to pull that away from me. The next two flaps are going to be side to side. So we have to the right, to the left, last but not least, towards me. Now you notice that I'm using all fingers because I don't want this flap right here that I've touched to now hit the gown. If that were to happen, that would contam contaminate the entire gown and I would no longer be able to use it in a surgery. So it's not an issue if you grab the corners. The issue is if this were to come back and touch the inside, which is sterile. Our goal that we want once we open our gown is to try to cover up as much as the mayo stand as we possibly can. Because once we've opened this up and all of our other supplies is open, we, we perform a surgical hand scrub and we come in. At this point, we don't wanna contaminate. We don't wanna touch the mayo stand that is underneath this drape. The, the gown cover on the inside is sterile, but the outside and anything underneath is not. So if I were to come in after a surgical scrub and I touch right here, I have now contaminated. So our goal really is to have this entire thing covered up. And as you've seen, it kind of ends like this. I always take those last corners and give it a little twist. So now I have more coverage. So when I come in after performing my surgical scrub, if I were, after I gown, to touch, after I'm gowned, then it's not an issue. If this were to be up and I gown and I touch the mayo stand, now I've contaminated. So again, this is, this is how it will look once you've opened it properly. Now the next step I have to do in order to gown and glove is to pop my gloves open. So I always like to recommend, and typically so does every other facility, to go double glove. Again, I always like to recommend, and typically so does any other facility, to double glove. The reason being is if you were in a surgery and you had a strike through, that second pair of glove typically can indicate whether or not there was a cut in your glove, and it might just be the reason you're saved from contaminating an entire sterile For example, if I only had one pair of gloves on, I get a cut and I go to touch something on my field, now everything's contaminated. If I have two pairs of gloves on and that first pair was strike through, but the second wasn't, I'm safe. I'll just put on another top glove, no issue. Now I will be popping this pair of gloves fairly.
Okay, now you may not see it, but I'm safe because this piece of paper actually saved my gloves from hitting the mayo stand. Okay, perfect. Throw away your garbage. Once everything is open, now I can go perform my surgical hand scrub. Okay, so I've performed my surgical scrub and now I'm wet. So what I'm going to do is avoid getting close to my sterile field. I'm going to grab my towel just by pinching it, okay? And I'm going to dry my hands, okay? Proper dry. I am patting. I don't want to rub at all. We want to avoid any dry skin or any other debris in the OR. I'm going to come up to my field and I'm going to grab my gown. Okay. You want to look at your area, making sure that you're not going to hit anything once you put your gown down. Okay. Now, what I'll be waiting for is my circulator or whomever is in the room to tie me. So I'm cuffing my whites and you can only see the blue. I'm going to start off with the larger size gloves, which in my case is seven and a half. And you always want to start with the right. Unless you're left-handed, the right glove is always best to start off with. Now I'm going to place my glove to where all the fingers are pointed towards me. With my bottom hand, I'm going to grasp one end. With my top, I'm going to grasp the other. I'm going to flip it over. Now, you want to avoid really touching this glove once it's on your hand until your other hand is, is, is gloved. Again, you want to avoid touching this gloved hand until your other hand is gloved. Okay, so again, fingers towards me, I'm going to grasp the top, I'm going to grasp the bottom, and we're going to do a flip, okay? Now at this point, since this hand is gloved, I can simply manage the other one a lot better, and it's pulled down. We want our cuffs to end where our knuckles are, okay? So you can see that my cuffs end exactly where my knuckles are. The second pair of gloves will be the same thing. You're gonna open them up. I'm gonna start with the right, and I'm going to do a flip. And you'll see how much easier these go on. Same with this, fingers towards me, grab the bottom lip, top, flip, and gloves are on. Okay, now once I'm down and gloved, I'm not quite ready to step up to my sterile fill. I have this tab here, and in order for me to be completely confined, I'll need someone to spin me. Now today my assistant will be spinning me, so I'm going to hand her this glove. She's not sterile, so we want to be careful with how we're handling it. She's going to grab one end away from me. I'm going to spin, and I'm going to grab it closest to me so we are sure not to touch each other. If my glove were to touch her, since she's not sterile, I would have contaminated. So now I'm going to tie this down. And I'm ready to go up to the field. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate your time. And contact Ultima Healthcare if you're interested. We are always here if needed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Altamont Healthcare on YouTube today.